Hi, my name is Lucas and I'm here at the Buffalo Public Schools. Right now I'm at School 33, uh, right next to the Farm to School to You truck. So, as we know, good nutrition helps your body function, but a little more on that, nutrition is also there to help give you energy and help support development and strengthening your body. So school food is one way you can give your body the nutrients you need so that you can function. But a lot of people who eat, well, food, everybody eats food, but when it comes to food, you got to make sure you know what you're eating. A lot of people don't know what they're eating. So I'm, I'm here today to tell you what you're going to be eating in this food along with the nutritional value that follows that food. All right, so today I'll be having New York State beef in the, in the hot dog that, that served on Farm to School to You truck. And I'll also be having the New York State milk. you got Have a great day. You as well. Hmm. Pretty good hot dog. <laughs> the hot dog compared to a hot dog that would usually be cooked on the grill. Well, it's for one thing, it's a very thick hot dog, so you get a whole lot of meat in it. And because it's on a wheat bun, you you get a whole lot of more grain inside this bread but what's the difference between this kind of bread and white bread what's the difference between this kind of hot dog and the normal hot dog that you'd buy at the store i'll get into that shortly <laughs> so along with the hot dog you also have you also have milk and it contains vitamins, minerals, and one of these, these vital nutrients that you get from milk is called calcium. And calcium is very good for your bones. It promotes bone health, it re promotes re the regeneration of your bone, and, it's, and overall it's good for you. Mm. Now, Let's, let's start out with fats before we get into vitamins, minerals, and proteins. Now, fats come in, in two forms. They could either come in saturated form or they could also come in unsaturated. The difference between saturated and unsaturated fat is that saturated fat tends to be solid at room temperature. Think of butter when you think of saturated fat. And unsaturated fat it are fats that tend to be liquid at room temperature. So think of vegetable oil and how it is uh, in its original form, in, in its liquid form, that is. Um, there, the reason why we considered one of these fats, the saturated fat, bad, and the unsaturated good, is because while the saturated fat raises your bad cholesterol, which is, you, you know, it's bad stuff, the other one raises your good cholesterol, which is good for you. It helps your health, and it also allows you to absorb vitamins better and gives you energy. Now, let's move on to proteins. As we see inside this hot dog, inside here contains protein. Protein are a type of organic compound. It's a type of substance that's inside meat and in some kinds of foods such as legumes and beans that allow that allows you to build up muscle strengthen your muscle and th of course that's very good <laughs> now after fat we also have carbohydrates carbohydrates are very essential for your body as well well all nutrients are essential but specifically with carbohydrates, that's your, your body's main source of energy. And there's, there's three forms of carbohydrates. This is fiber, starch, and sugar. Sugar, as many of you know, it can be used in candy, it can be used, it, it's found in fruits, it's found in vegetables, 
and all around it can give you a boost in energy but those that are simple sugars such as the sugar that is used in pop which is called fructose and also the sugar that's used in candy or maybe you use it for coffee that's called sucrose and that tends to be way simpler than many of the other sugars there are starch is the best though now fiber while it is a, a, sh a carbohydrate it doesn't act like sugars or starch because it can't be broken down this is good for your digestive health allowing you to go to the bathroom better we'll put it like that and along with carbohydrates and fiber you can find fiber in in bread you can find fiber in certain seeds you could also find fiber in lettuce and fiber also helps you this helps you absorb all that energy that comes from sugar and comes from starch all right along with fiber so let's say you have this bun here this bun is a wheat bun now compared to a white bun the difference is, is that while wheat buns are are usually made of whole grains whole grains being grains that really haven't been touched really haven't been changed white grain the grain that's used inside white bread that has been altered and changed so that way is on, that's the only part of the grain that you use you have you have the shell which is the most fibrous and then you have the inside which is the white grain part now that's just an example there's more examples out there but bread is one of them next we got vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals they help you when it comes to the, your sight your vision repairing tissue they, they help you so that you can hold more water they also help they also make you thirsty such as sodium or salt so overall vitamins do um, many many things but it's best to have a, a, them in your so today here I'm with Ruth and she's gonna be asking me some questions so what made you do this presentation today so today the reason why I did it today is for one thing it's really sunny it's really nice but also there's a lot of people locally who don't know what's inside their food. Like, they'll look at fat and they'll say that's bad because it's fat. It sounds bad. We know it's a condition, but I came out here so I can inform those who don't know of what's inside their food and how they can distinguish the good from the bad. So have you heard of the RDAs? They're the recommended dietary allowance. That is the daily value, right? Yes. So the school lunch program actually is based from the USDA, it's the, US, the United States Department of Agriculture, and we are in line with the RDAs. So we are set with specific guidelines to meet all the nutrients that you talked about. Fantastic job today. Um, so the menu is actually created based on those guidelines, and we have to meet certain criteria. We look for cleaner labels, we look for sodium, we look for calories, we look for fat. Sometimes some fat's good, some of it's healthy. It, it does fill, fill us up a little bit. We actually do moderation. Let's talk about chips. We throw in some snacks here and there. Um, but for the most part, we try and keep things clean, whole grain, fresh. Farm to School has been fantastic to help us implement this program and make more variety of some really wholesome items that is actually grown in this area, which is fantastic. So. From all that I heard, that is all good stuff. <laughs> so the basic is try and keep your meals and your food choices as clean as possible. Fresh, obviously farm to school, local. If you can purchase local, we definitely have some uh, weather issues, but we try and buy as much local as possible. And from a school standpoint, we're always looking out for the best interests of our students to make sure that we're educating them, providing them items that are, are healthier, but also with some balance. Okay.